I'm Chef Tammy Brawley from The Green Kitchen. Welcome to Heart of the Home. Today we are going to be working with one of my favorite recipes, loaded with dairy. And you know, Virginia is actually home to about 375 dairy farms, and they work really hard to bring you quality product. And today we get to work with some of that. This recipe is what I would consider a foundation recipe. Actually came from the Virginia Seasons um, Junior League Cookbook. Um, very rich, as you can imagine. And we're gonna start out with about a stick and a half of butter melting on low in our burner here. I have pre-cooked some fettuccine um, waiting on the side there. That is something that you could certainly do ahead of time while you're making this recipe. But what we have is six ounces of butter or a stick and a half. We're letting that melt now on a low temperature. To that we are going to add Parmesan cheese, half and half, and sour cream. Um, as I said there at the beginning, it is kind of a foundation recipe. I have been known to, in the past, add shrimp to it. I, I've added broccoli to it. We are going to add a little fresh chopped parsley um, to give it a little bit of color, but it's a, a great base recipe. All right, the butter's taking just a couple of moments to melt, which is fine. We're going to measure out about a cup and a half of heavy ha of half and half, excuse me, a cup and a half of half and half. <laughs> We'll go ahead and start adding the cream. You can either use a whisk at this point or a wooden spoon. I usually have both of them pretty handy. So we've got a cup so far. We're going to go ahead and add another half cup. I've turned the heat up just a touch. Once the butter melts pretty thoroughly, you can go ahead and add your um, Parmesan cheese. And it's about a cup and a half of Parmesan cheese. You don't want it to really come to a boil. You just want a nice, good temperature to melt that butter and the cheeses, or cheese and the sour cream. All right. We have about a cup and a half of Parmesan cheese. We're going to let that melt. Now you might notice I haven't seasoned this at all and one of the main reasons is because the Parmesan cheese is notoriously salty. I typically don't salt this until I sit down to eat. But you should always taste before you add any sort of seasoning. Parmesan cheese is melting nicely. I have actually done it with the grated Parmesan cheese before. I'll be honest with you, I'm not real pleased with the results from that. So I think you are better off using the shredded Parmesan cheese. The, um, the grated parm tends to give more of a, a granular texture, whereas the shredded parm melts more thoroughly. All right, there you have most of the ingredients. Now we're going to come back and we're going to add about a cup of sour cream. The sour cream tends to give it a little bit of a tang, um, and I love that. I think it's absolutely wonderful. If you are trying to avoid sour cream, if you want um, a different option, you could certainly use a Greek yogurt. There would be no reason not to. That might even give it just a tad more tang. All right, we're just going to stir that until it melts. The cheese is melted very nicely. We're going to toss in a little bit of fresh chopped parsley, just for a little bit of color more than anything else. If I were to add broccoli to it, I might would um, not add the parsley, but broccoli is delicious in this recipe. All right, while that is kind of coming together a little bit, I'm going to step off camera just a touch, and I'm going to drain some fettuccine noodles that I've already cooked. All right, we're going to add the fettuccine to our serving bowl. This sauce does keep well left over. I would eat it probably within a couple of days, but it does keep well in the refrigerator for a couple of days. All right, let me just stir this up another moment or so. All right, I've turned my heat off. I'm gonna go ahead and toss some sauce in with this pasta. You know, this recipe, actually what takes the longest when you make this is the cooking of the pasta. I 
I'm Tammy Brawley with The Green Kitchen. I have just shown you a delicious recipe using some of Virginia's dairy products. We hope you'll join us again for Heart of the Home. Recipes from the Heart of the Home can be found on the Virginia Farm Bureau website at vafb.com slash recipes, as well as on Chef Tammy Brawley's website at greenkitchenrichmond.com.